Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Thank you so much. Very good. Thanks a lot. Uh, welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Ready to start and also congratulating you because you always are on time as in most of you uh, that you're ready before the time. So that's great. So welcome you all guys to, and we're ready to, you know, work today in the class and practice and improve our English because that's one of the goals we have together. And at the same time, and uh, because it's the last class for this time. And uh, so it's been a, actually a very important and valuable experience to have been here practicing English a lot. So just uh, before we start, I just want to ask you, what we studied yesterday. Help me, help me to remember what we studied. Yes, tell me, what do you remember? What we studied yesterday? Writing a joke. I'm sorry, Oscar, could you repeat that? Writing a joke. Oh, exactly. That's yeah. right. Thank you. So we also we also discussed a little bit about uh, some specific jobs and skills, and uh, some of you, you know, describe some jobs that you could fit, some jobs that you would like to, I mean, to be or to study because you have some skills, and also some jobs you nowadays you have so are really good. For example, uh, Katia Graciela. Hello? Teacher, repeat. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Sorry, teacher. Okay, yesterday... We repeat, were, please. Yesterday, we were talking about jobs. And also, do you remember what uh, job you described yesterday in the group? We were saying... Yes. And what the, did you... Uh, I, I like... I like the the dancer instructor. Uh, uh, what kind of in dancer? Dancer? Instructor. Ah, okay. Uh, so you are good dancing and Yes, I love dancing teacher. Oh? I love dance teacher. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So you were talking about that. So you know because she has uh some valuable skills <laughs> for that, right? That's good. Thank you. And what about Oscar Armando? Okay, Armando? okay uh, what about Oscar Armando? What did you talk yesterday? What job did you describe? A major. I made a good sequence. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? I think I make pickles. Oh, psychology? No, no. Psychology. 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 Oh, psychology. So mm -hmm. you just you have some skills as a psychologist. I am good at, at communication, communi communicating with people. I call never be a sequence. I am very moody and short and temperate. Okay, so so that means that you're good at you know at communicating with people, also advising because a psychologist. You had to be good at transmitting, you know, some important messages. And uh, being a psychologist is, is one of them, right? So that's why it's very valuable. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And we will continue today talking a little bit about jobs. So we have some exercises that we will develop in this class. As you know, it's the last class for this uh, level, intermediate number two. And then you will go on to the next level, of course, with the opportunity to maximize your English skills. We'll have two exercises for listening. 
And I will share with you right now a link. One moment, please. We have a link that I will share with you. Okay, one moment, please. Okay, um, you will listen a conversation. And this conversation, it's also related to friends and talking about some important things. What I want you to do as part of the activity is, is to answer the following equations. The first one is, what is the woman's name? So you have to identify in the conversation, what is the woman's name? Where is the woman's front? Well, in that case, originally. So as part of the activities, you know, let me share with you oh, the, the link right now. One second. So let me check. I will share with you right now this link. And so you can help me with that. Let me share it here. Okay, can you check that? I, I don't know if we haven't done this exercise, right? And please let me know. One second. Se dice en la silla lo envía ese. Yeah, this is what we did yesterday, if I'm not wrong. We did this exercise yesterday. Yes. No, this is another exercise teacher. So we haven't seen it. We haven't done it yet, right? One second. Check. Let me check here. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, look at this. Uh, so this is the exercise. And of course, well, this is a lot of friends. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the, the, the conversation. So you will listen to this conversation and you will try to, you know, identify what's the woman's name, where is the woman's from originally, how long did, um, did the men live in California before they moved overseas, and what is the man studying? And the last one is what is the woman's job? So this is um, are the questions that you had to identify meanwhile you uh, developed this exercise, listening carefully. So I'm just going to give you um, some minutes to try to listen carefully and complete this exercise. And also, well, the, the, the link is already shared, Francisco also help us to, you know, to share the, to post the link here in the chat. So let's practice, let's listen this conversation and help me to complete this information. Let's go.
Okay, some students have already finished uh, the exercises. Uh, it's very short, definitely. And um, we have an special learning process because you understand that, that when we listen to conversations, of some people could have some difficulties to understand everything because of the accent, because of the vocabulary. So it's, it's just a process, but um, don't worry. Don't worry if you didn't get the five correct. If you did good, if you get the five correct, that's awesome. But if not, so feel free and also confident because this is part of the practice. So this is part of the activities. I mean, we are learning and um, listening several times a conversation perhaps can help us to identify new words and expressions in English. So it's step by step. So we don't have to feel like a little stressed because we didn't get the five correct, um, but because we understand that it's a process and we, we can like get that one step by step in that. Okay, so I think that most, most of students have already worked with that one. And we have the first one. The question is, what's the woman's name? What do you get? Jenny. Jenny. Excellent. Jenny. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. So that's her name from the three possible choices. We got that. Where is her real that? name is Juanita, but everybody called her Jenny. Jenny, right? It's like more American, <laughs> more American. Yeah. Um, where is the woman from originally? Argentina. 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 Argentina, the country where Messi lives. Okay, that is a good detail. <laughs> Extra information for that. All right, that's okay. And how long did the men live in California before they moved overseas? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Okay, that, that's okay. And remember that overseas is outside the country. That means in a different country. So around seven years. Mm -hmm. And what is the man studying? Psychology. 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 Yeah. Psychology. Exactly. And that, that will be, and he will become psychologist. All right. And what is the woman's job? A sailor. A sailor. A seller, a seller, representative. All right, that's okay. So, what's easy or difficult this conversation to listen at first? Easy. Mm -hmm. That was comprehensive. That was very comprehensive. Also, the accent, uh, <laughs> the tone of voice, the speed. So. You know, and when we listen to this kind of conversation, we try to understand, get just the accent, right? Because it sounds like it's French. And I will say that. Um, a veces escuchamos una conversación y nos enfocamos en saber qué significa, cómo, cómo, qué significa, qué quiere decir. Pero también tenemos que enfocarnos en la pronunciación. A veces nos enfocamos solo, bueno, de qué se trata y si le entiendo o no le entiendo. Pero también hay que enfocarnos en cómo se pronuncian las palabras. ¿Cómo es el acento? ¿Qué acento tiene? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo mencionan, por ejemplo, eh, California? Ah, California. So, so, oh, California. Entonces, nosotros tenemos que enfocarnos tanto en lo que entendemos, en qué nos dice, pero también en cómo se pronuncia y cómo lo podríamos pronunciar nosotros con ese acento. What's the main goal of that? It's like when we're speaking in Spanish, oh, we have our own accent in English, but the problem is that when we try to listen to English, we try to speak in English with a Spanish accent. Like this is the same, a different language, but with the same accent in Spanish. Es decir, que lo, lo decimos con el acento salvadoreño, pero entonces tenemos que practicar para darle un acento no salvadoreño, sino un acento americano. Y uno de los ejercicios de un listening es eso, escuchar cómo pronuncian las palabras. Yo puedo decir en inglés overseas. Ah, overseas. Pero, si digo, eh, pero ¿cómo lo pronunció? Oh, no, es que lo dijo overseas, entonces cambió de decir a overseas to overseas, entonces ahí hay un cambio en, en la palabra you know we talk about new friends, ah new friends pero como lo dijo él, ah dijo oh new friends entonces le dio un acento diferente entonces that's why one of the exercises that can help us to, to have a great English accent that is very remarkable entonces usted escucha a alguien que habla inglés y tiene un acento bonito y dice hey, que bonito habla pero porque no solo ha estudiado la palabra ni cómo se pronuncia. Eh, 
el acento, sino cómo ha dominado el acento. Entonces, ustedes que van en este proceso de intermedio avanzado, mientras trabajan más la parte de pronunciación, su inglés se va a escuchar muy bonito y muy natural. Ya van a decir, escucharon a Oscar, pero es que el acento no es de aquí, no es de El Salvador, no, es que lo pronunció con otro acento. That's why it's, it's um, something important about speaking English. And also not just pronunciation, but also the accent too is very remarkable. Yes. Okay, let's continue with the rest of the exercises. We have a second conversation here too. And uh, look at this. Um, the next topic is party invitations. Do you like parties? Do you like parties? A party? Do you, do you like uh, to go, go, go to parties? A celebration? Yeah. I don't see you convinced, guys. Yes? Yes. Oh. <laughs> do you like Christmas parties? Yes, I like. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like. Oh, do you dance? Yes. Of course. <laughs> okay, so I cannot say that I dance. I try to dance. That side is a little different. Okay, so you say, do you dance? Oh, well, I, I'm not good, but I try. So people say that, but there are some others that are experts dancing. Okay. Are you saying teacher link? Yes. Yeah, in the chat. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so it's about part of invitation. So in that case, we have to respond to following questions here, right? Gregorio is well known for his ability to wear a grief. So you had uh, so three possible choices and you had to answer the best, the best one for this. What is one thing that is not true about him? So there are uh, three possible choices. You had to choose one. What does Sardina do for a living? Oh, she, she works in this one. She travels. You don't understand that. Um, Georgina is a, a woman wearing a yellow dress. What is the other invited guest Brad P doing in this conversation? So listen carefully, and after that, we will socialize the answers. Let's go.
Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you do you check the accent, the accent of people in the conversation? Do you focus in the in the accent? Yes, teacher. I noticed because I I couldn't understand <laughs> their so because the accent is very different. I don't know. It's more native. <laughs> uh, native. Native. Okay. Yeah. Thank so. You. Yeah, so th that's some, something very like, you know, exciting when we listen American people talking. And um, this kind of conversations can help us to, you know, to focus on the accent, you know, people pronounce the words. And um, also you can like try several times on, until it sounds like a native speaker. So definitely that well, we could listen several times, that can help. And uh, this is an extra homework we have in a conversation, not just try to understand um, focus on vocabulary and the pronunciation too, but also the accent. So we can practice several times and until we feel more confident to talk. And also that makes um, speakers a different accent that makes speakers sound different. Okay, help me to respond to the following questions here. Um, Gregorio is well known for his ability to work with what? Animals. Animals. Animals, right. Animals. Okay, do you have pets? Yeah. What, no. Uh, what pets do you have? What kind of pets? I don't have, I, I have a, a dog. Oh, a dog. Uh -huh. a okay. Dog. Okay, good. Are like the most common animals. Okay, uh, that's good. And what is one thing that is not true about him? He has on a black jacket. He has on a black jacket. Okay. That makes sense to me. What does Georgina do for a living? She's a popular sport. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next one, Georgina is a woman wearing a yellow dress. Is what? Georgina is? A small. Small. A small woman. Small. How do you pronounce that? Woman or women? Women. How do you pronounce it? Woman or women? Number four. Woman. woman. Okay. Women. Remember that women is for Pluto. Woman is singular. Woman. So in that case, woman. would be woman. Yes. So Jordan is a small woman wearing a yellow dress. And the last but not the least, what is the other invited guest, Brad Pitt, doing in the conversation? He is sitting in the room. Is sitting or eating? Sitting. Sitting in the room. In the room. Sitting in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was, was right, right there in one specific place inside the room. Okay. It's like waiting there in the room. Okay, so this is uh, very important the practice of listening skills. So. I re also recommend you to try to listen or watch series or movies or programs in English so you can uh, listen native speakers. We have a reading, we have an article that we will socialize today. And also what I want you to do is to read carefully the following information. And also you have to check some statements and we have to decide between true or false according to the information given this. So for that part, and I want you to read uh, this article carefully, and we will also check the attendance list. Let's see what it says. It says, um, have you ever had the desire to wonder, uh, somebody's, uh, okay. Have you ever had the desire to wonder the world and see what was out there? Well, some people prefer to stay in the comfort of their own homes 
others seen. Oh my God, that's it. Others have been beaten by the travel bug and can't wait to explore the world. Exotic places call to them. Come visit me and I will show, show you my mysteries, they say. Every year, millions of people pack their suitcase or put on backpacks to flock to visit the seven con continents in the world. They wander through these castles and museums of Europe and the cities in natural wonders of North and South America. Some visit the vast exotic cultures of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The great outback of Australia is a wonderland for those who go there. And a few lucky people even make to the most mysterious continent on the Earth, Antarctica. Why do people want to explore the world? It gives them a better perspective about the Earth and the people living on it. It opens their minds and it gives them a feeling of accomplishment and it makes them feel alive. So save some money, get your passport ready and see the world. It will change your life forever. Okay, so what we have to do right now is that I need to check um, the attendance list here. So after that, we will be working in a small groups and we will respond the following uh, questions. Hoy vamos a hacer una, una práctica de, vamos a hacer una práctica de reading, porque muchas veces cuando nos ponemos a leer es como que, uh, ok, uh, read the article y empezamos. Uh, have you had the desires? It sounds like como que estamos aprendiendo a leer, pero ya no en español, sino que en inglés, right? Y entonces vamos como, como un poquito slow. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a practicar en los grupos en el Breakthrough Way un parrafito, vamos a ir leyendo una parte y a modo de que suene natural, que suene, you know, with a great accent. And that also can help us to, you know, to improve and also get some information. So just give me one second. Meanwhile, we're going to be checking the attendance list right here. Um, Alejandro José Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present Andrea, Present teacher. Okay, thanks. Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Blanca Marisol. Um, Boris Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernandez. Brian and Car Carlos. Present. Hello, present. Uh, Brian. Yeah. Okay, Brian. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Jose Asensio. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Dennis Isaias Gomez. Present teacher. Uh, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Elba Carolina Vasquez. Elba Carolina. Eh, Erika Maydel Antonio. Antonio Flores. Present teacher. Oh, thanks. Uh, Francisco Alberto Lemus. Present teacher. I'm here. Okay. It is Regina Hernandez Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jaime Rolando Escalante Membreño. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Yanet Sanchez Valencia. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Ok, María Lucila Soto Ponce. Present teacher. En Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza. 
Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thanks. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez Silva. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Sara Nalda Guzmán Cubías. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, y dale Evelio Mejía García. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Okay, absent here. Okay, he's not here. Okay, so this is teacher. what we Yes? Teacher. Present. Present. Who? Fernando. Kim? Oscar. Oscar. Armando. Oscar. Okay. All right. Okay, so what we had to do is we're going to have to read, uh, to read the article again. And also, we have to um, answer some questions related to this um, reading. But also, I just, I, I'm just i going to encourage you to, to read the article with your own voice. So you can, uh, in the groups, read one paragraph each. So you will like, uh, check in the pronunciation, the vocabulary. So that can help us to maximize our skills. Así que nos vamos a formar en los equipos. Usted lee el artículo, eh, practica la pronunciación de las palabras, que suene natural, que suene, no suene ni una lectura forzada, sino que pues a su ritmo, pero que suene muy bien, que suene natural. And like you're reading in Spanish, but at least you can try. And after you read the article, um, you will compare and also you will respond with true or false according to the information given. Okay, questions before we go on to the groups? Any questions or doubt? Mm, no, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's work in the breakout rooms. Lo vamos a abrir y ustedes entran a la práctica. Let's go. Esa mira pequeña. No se logra ver. Teacher, el artículo. Um, um, hello. El artículo no lo tenemos, no lo vemos. Eh, ¿Lo tienen en su presentación? En la presentación que les mando en el grupo. Ok. Yes. Mm. 
¿Quién voy yo? Vale, vale. Vale. Every year, million of people pack their suitcases of both Abarca and fly to visit seven continents of the world. They were there through the country in the of Europe and the cities and natural wonder. ¿Va a continuar o continuar? Wonder of North and South America. Some visited vast exotic culture of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The great outback of Australia is a wonder for those who go there and never looking people ever made to the most mysterious continent on the edge and Antarctica. Why do people want to explore the world? It gives them then a better perspective about the year and the people living on it. It opens their, their minds. It gives them a feeling of completion, a completion, and it makes them feel alive. So say most some money get you the passport read and see the world. It will change your life forever. Okay, entonces Jessica? el siguiente sería Ricardo y luego la compañera Boy. Jessica. Okay. How you ever had the desire to wander the world and see what 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 out there? Will some people prefer to stay in the comfort of their own home? Others have been bitten by the travel book and can't wait to explore the world. Exotic place called to them. Come visit me and I will show you my mystery. And they say. Every year, millions of people pay, pack their suitcase or put on backpacks and flock to visit the seven continents of the world. They wander throughout the castles and museums of Europa, Europe. 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 In the cities and natural wonders of North and South America. Some visit the vast exotic cultures of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The great outback of Australia is a wonderland for those who go there. And a few lucky people even make to the most mysterious continent on the air Antarctica. Okay, y aquí volvemos a comenzar. Así que me vuelve a tocar. Why don't people want to explore the world? In the, it, uh, it gives them the better perspective about the heart and the people living on it. It happens their minds. It gives, gives them a feeling of a, a com, se pronuncia a compli, accomplishment. Teacher. Accomplishment. Accomplishment, sí, nada yes. más. Okay, yes. I think. And it makes then a feel like some say some money had your passport ready. Have seen thy word, it will change your life forever. Ok, no sé si alguien quiere continuar de nuevo. Ok. How to ever... Dale, 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 compañero, no se preocupe. Ok, ok, thank you. How you ever had the days to wander the world and see what was out there? Will some people 
perfect to stay in the comfort and they all come. Or they have been visited by the travel bus and can wait to explore the world exotic place called to them. Come visit me and I will show you my mysteries, they say. They next every every year millions of people fact their secrets or puts on backup backpack and so to visit the seven continents of the world. They wander through the castle and museum of a Europe and the cities and natural wonders of North and sure um, in, in America. Some visited the vast exotic, exotic cultures of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The great outback of Australia is a wonderful wonderland for us who, 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 who would deal and apply Lucky people even makes to the most mysterious continent of the air Antarctic. Why do okay. people want to explore the world? It gives them a better perspective about the earth and the people living on it. On it, it opened their mind. It given them a feeling of accomplishment and it made them feel alive. So save some money, get your pass, passport ready and see the world. It will change your life forever, life forever. Otra vez. Have yes. you ever, okay. Have you ever had the desire to wander the world and see what was out there? while some people prefer to stay in the comfort or their own home. Others have been bitten by the travel book and can't wait to explore the world. Exotic place, call them, call to them. Come visit me and I will show you my mysteries, they say. Okay, y comenzamos de nuevo. <laughs> Every year, millions of people packed there and sit gaze or put on backpacks and flag the visit the visit of seven continents of the world. They wander drown, drown, creo que se pronuncia drown, drown, the castle of the museum of the Europa. Um, on the cities and natural wonder of North on South America. Some visit the vast exotic culture of Asia, Africa and the Middle East. The great hallback of Austria is a wonderland uh, for those who go there and feel lucky people. Having made tutor uh, the most mysterious Continent on the Earth and um, Antarctica. Okay, why do why do we do people want to explore the world? It gives them a better perspective about the it and the pe people living on it. It opens their minds. It gives them a feeling of accomplishment. Um, it makes them feel a little. So say some money, get your passport ready and see the world. It will change you to live it forever. Have you ever had the desire to wander the world and see what was uh, out there? Well, some people prefer to stay in the comfort of their own home. Others have been beaten by the terrible battle and can't wait to explore the world. Exotic 
play card to hey today. Come visiting, visit me, and I will show you the story. They say. Hello teacher, hello teacher, how are you, how are you, very, very thank you, very, very thank you, how are you. <laughs> <laughs> o uno más así como, como romántica. Hello teacher, hello teacher, how are you, how are you. Very, very thank you. Very, very thank you. How are you? Mm. Ay, <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. Oscar was enjoying. Oscar was enjoying the the, the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Oscar, Oscar was having fun with the song and everything. Okay, so. Okay, so let's check. Um, Teacher, and really in the chat. Maritza, and she says that Maritza Isabel Mendez. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, she was not on the list. Okay, so it's already right, done. Let's check. Um, we have some minutes um, to. Okay, Maritza, I understand. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. One second, please. One second. One second. Ya regreso, voy al baño. <laughs> English, English. No thanks. Uh, I am returned to uh to go to bathroom. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you you have to say, may I go to the bathroom? May I go to course. the bathroom, please, exactly. teacher? Exactly. That's what I look. Yeah, because he was saying, "Good morning, teacher." So, hey, teacher, you know, <laughs> may I go to the bathroom? So, like a little bit more formal, or something like. Okay, so I was actually listening to all of you guys um, in the conversations, and uh, what I really love is like you know you were pr pr practicing the pronunciation and everything, and and I, I could, and uh, I was like listening carefully this part, and also you focus on the pronunciation because it's something important, and as a as an expert of English, I can say that it's a uh, very necessary to practice actively in uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, expressions. That uh, definitely helps a lot. Okay. Um, okay, so we will take that point. All right, so let's see here. And uh, number one. And who wants to help me to answer this one? Number one. But working through no. Um yep. To be beaten by the travel bug. Um to be beaten by the travel bug means that you like to stay home. That is true or false? False. It's like no so good, right? It's, you know. And do you like traveling? Do you, yes. like, do you like yes, just, just I I love like travel. a lot? So, what do you need for what? What? What do we need to think when we travel? What? What comes into your mind when you know that you need to travel? What things we need to take care when we travel? To take uh, care. My home. I mean, you say I'm going to travel, so I have to. Focus in these things for traveling. So, for example, you need to go to get money. What else do you need? Yes. Yes, teacher. What else? The do you passport. Need? The passport. Okay. Passport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Yeah. And some country yeah. do it, teacher. Okay. I need a good camera. A good camera. Uh, yes. Uh, for taking photos. Okay. What else? Do reservation. Do reservation or the hotel. Booking. 
Yes, the booking. Yes, the booking. The is booking, good. yes. Because you don't know where you go. So you have a destination, you have a place where to go. What else do you need? Money. Okay. The place. Money. What do you prefer most? A cash or, I don't know, credit card or, uh, I don't know, like a card? Credit card. Or I think yes. that is a better card. Yeah, it's a better, it's better a car for security, for gangsters or yes. I don't know for also yeah. depending where you but, go, right? For Steve. but sometimes, but sometimes you need a, a song of, of money, cash. Like cash. Okay, you need some cash. All right, that's that's very important. Yes, and also the destination, depending um, for, when you buy the things. Mm -hmm. What else do you need? Um, uh, comfortable. Appropriate clothes. Appropriate clothes. Mm, uh huh. Yes. The outfit you had to get your clothes, and also if you're taking medicine, if you're medicated for some reasons, also you need. Uh, uh, a cool glasses. <laughs> uh, what Google map. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Internet in your phone. <laughs> your Google phone? Map and Waze teacher. <laughs> yeah. Waze. Yeah. Yes. A, a, a phone. It's it's very important. Maybe roaming. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. Yes, yes. it's a <laughs> no. Okay, so that that is a definitely important to take into account. All right. So look yes, at the next so. one. Um, to be beaten by the travel bug means that you like to stay home. Is true or false? True or false? Number one. For me, it's true. Teacher, I can understand the sense of the question because I don't know what is bold. Bold is not. It's not. It's insane. like an. It's like a, yes, of course. And in english and it's a it's a tradition saying that for example to be beaten by the travel bug is como que como que sea picado por un insecto um, pero travel bug is como un viajero como un insecto viajero entonces que significa oh, okay. that means that is is uh that you stay home is false according to the article um, es como decir de que pues te ha picado un insecto de viaje entonces te va a transmitir eso que vas a viajar. Entonces, you know, that is false. Eh, porque ahí dice que significa que te vas a quedar en casa. Es todo lo contrario. Es que vas a viajar. Mm -hmm. Something that you travel. So it's something totally different. So you travel. Oh, okay. Uh, people beaten okay. by the travel bug like to visit new places. Is true or false? True. 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 Of course, because you will look for true. some places that you like. And that is good. All right, that we enjoy. Okay, the great outback is in Europe. Is false. 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 It's false because it could be whatever. I mean, not only Europe, it could be America, Asia, Africa, Oceania. So I don't know. So you can, there are different places, not specifically in Europe. Antarctica is in Africa. False. 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 Yeah, so it's the geography, it's going to be mandatory. Okay, no. uh, Asia is vast, true or false? True. True. It's true. It's very big. Asia is very big, so you can also visit uh, Asia. There are beautiful countries that you can visit in, in Asia. Traveling opens your mind. True or false? True. 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 Okay. true. Uh, <laughs> definitely that, yes. It um, opens your mind to different opportunities, oh. cultures, mm -hmm. language, language, um, mm -hmm. the cultures, people, how they live, what they do. <laughs> so, and and okay. traveling makes yes. you feel alive, true or false? True. 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 That always is true, right? Because make you feel alive, you live a new life, new experience. Um, some people love traveling and also the challenges is like, you know, getting to know people, the cultures, the environment, the food, 
the weather, so a lot of factors that we have to take into account. Okay, guys, well, because of the time, actually we have talked a little bit about some jobs and also about cultures and everything. So we have concluded the class and I really appreciate it for the time that you have taken to stay in here. So I just uh, want to encourage you to keep on working, uh, studying so hard, practice English, and I hope to see you further in with a different English level with that more practice and more communication skills. So thank you so much, everybody. And have a beautiful night to all of you. Enjoy also your time. And don't forget to complete the exercises in the platform. All the exercises, the last ones. And it has been a pleasure uh, to be here with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher, for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Happy holidays. You too. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, teacher, and everyone. Bye. Christmas. Bye bye. Right, thank you.